The iconic mugshot scene around the world. I think the tyrant's plan is backfiring on them. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend, where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. I got something special I want to show you. I'm going to watch it with you for the first time from an amazing freedom fighter, an artist, musician, rapper named Hi Res the Rapper. And the nature of his song is relevant to this iconic mugshot, so let's catch up on the details. A criminal was taken off the streets in Georgia, luckily, last week, and yo, know, Trump is arrested, and they gotta do the mugshot because they didn't have to, but they wanted to, because they wanted something to absolutely devastate Trump's image, and it backfired. You know, the, the mugshot was first leaked to CNN. Weird how that happened. It's just like a weaponized arm of the media is receiving a picture from the weaponized agencies of the government. Weird how that happens. Don't think too much about it. But then President Trump owns it. And I would dare say not only his supporters, but also simply supporters of freedom and democracy, whether or not they're actually in Trump's base, this mugshot has been owned by everybody. This mugshot has done nothing but positive things for President Trump. As of a couple days ago, he raised over $7.1 million just from this mugshot tweet alone, where he had a link to his donaldjtrump.com donation site. And of course, he owns it. Mugshot, August 24th, 2023. Election interference, never surrender, Donald J. Trump. Com. How is it backfired? Well, there's a lot to it, but for now, let's just say over a quarter of a billion views on just this one tweet alone. And there's been countless people sharing this mugshot out on their social media. I mean, I guarantee this has been viewed well over a billion times. But just on President Trump's page alone, over 254 million views on that. This has been a great strategy to not only strengthen support for President Trump because he is now certainly the underdog as he's going up against a tyrannical regime and all their weaponized federal agencies and rules of law, but also people love an underdog and people really empathize with someone who is unfairly bullied. So the more they do, the more they're just like making people like President Trump more. And then he raises seven million, over seven million dollars just on this alone, which is great. Which side note, you know, this was President Trump's first tweet since January 8th, 2021. And uh, man, I mean, really incriminating tweets there in January of 2021, where he's asking people to stay peaceful, like. That's obviously the primary way you incite violence. You demand people stay peaceful. And it's like, whoa, that's very harsh words there, President Trump. So that brings us to the meat and potatoes of today's news. There is someone that I am a big fan of and proud to say I'm friends with him. Hi Rez the Rapper. You can see here uh, his YouTube channel, Hi Rez TV, 2.46 million subscribers, and he really quickly turn around, turned around a song about Trump's mugshot, the Georgia indictment, Donald Trump first day out. And you can see it's racking up views pretty quickly. I have not listened to the song or watched it yet. We're gonna do that together. It's just a minute and a half, so we're in this together. Take it away, hi Rez. Uh, I wanna go to LA. Well. Shout out Patriot J, Benny Johnson, Big Bongino, Alex Jones, free my dogs and lock up the radical left gone crazy. I don't bail, I don't bail, I won't see inside a cell. Shout out Thugger, free my slime, slat, slat, YSL. They trying to lock me up, but I'm plugged in in ATL. Got homies doing life in jail, they living in hell. These DAs acting silly, my mugshot is worth a billy. So some merchant made a milli. Shot me Millie out in Philly Shot the baby, shot the salsa Benny Butcher, then my rollers Called me racist, but these rappers Riding with me, then my soldiers Maga, maga, maga I am not who they are after I'm just in the way they want to get to you But I won't let them cold hearted No, I'm artist Getting back to where I started I don't need to do the race 
I'ma beat them Rico charges And if I go to prison, you can't do me like the Clintons I'll be laid up, eating steak with Secret Service chilling, screaming, orange man bad The whole world mad, thug life Shout out all of my MAGA base chads Coming for the deep state, I will stop the new world order But before that, I'll finish walls at the border YSL, slash slash, shout out thugger Fanny got nothing on us Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. I, I didn't know he was rapping that whole song in President Trump's voice, obviously his impression, which I thought was pretty good. And I love that he, he captured a lot of the story and obviously context around President Trump and the deep state relentlessly trying to take him down uh, since what at least 2016, 2015. Dude, that's awesome. And to think that he wrote that song in such a short amount of time, let alone you know, got the beat tracks, however you make music, I don't know. So I'm a fan, I love it. Uh, Hi Rez the Rapper, thank you for putting this out, man. I think the more we use art, music, comedy, other forms of art, I don't know if there's other forms of art, but music and comedy to get messages of truth, freedom, awakening, awareness out there, uh, I think the better. We need art because it, it reaches people's psyches, I think in a deeper way, not just the left brain, but the right brain. And of course, art, it can be emotional. It can speak to the heart and soul. So I think messages have the potential to penetrate deeper when they're a form of art. So check out Hi Rez the Rapper. He's got other amazing music. We've reviewed some of it on this channel. I've been grateful to appear in a couple of his music videos. So if you haven't followed Hi Rez the Rapper yet, you gotta check him out. And for now, my dear freedom-loving friend, I appreciate you watching this video. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. But first, I wanna tell you about someone and something that helps make this channel possible. You probably know by now that CBD has become an absolute staple at helping people promote their health and overcome challenges. But unfortunately, it can be hard to find CBD brands that you can trust in terms of potency and purity. That's why I started Awaken CBD, because my life and my health has been massively positively impacted by CBD, so I wanted to bring CBD to the world that they can trust. At Awaken CBD, I am proud to bring the most potent pure CBD to the market with the highest quality control and organically grown CBD that you'll find. The backbone of the lineup is the full spectrum CBD oil tincture. And we've also got full spectrum gummies, which are delicious, sleep gummies, sleep formula, and intensive pain relief rub, which I am reaching for every time I hurt myself in the gym, which is unfortunately often. To help you meet your health goals and overcome your challenges, I would be honored if you gave Awaken CBD a shot. You can find it only at awakencbd.com. Enjoy, my friends.